Good evening. Good evening. This is Christina Campbell, and I've got a couple of helpers on tonight. I've got uh, Pamela Hyen. Thank you so much, Pamela. And of course, Pamela is also one of the creators of the Healthy Nervous System or the Pe Prevention Plus series. So um, she's going to be able to answer your questions. And while I'm, you know, giving you your spiel, she's going to be there. If you have anything that you are curious about, uh, maybe I haven't covered you yet. She will know what I've covered and what I what I'm going to be covering. So she'll just tell you to hang tight, and I'll cover that. Uh, otherwise, she'll answer your questions to the best of her ability. I do want to preface this entire presentation by saying we are not here to diagnose or prescribe. We are here to basically uh, share with you information, education that we have gathered over the years and to guide you in a direction of um, alternative methods of healing that are more conducive to a happy body. I'm going to see. Excuse me. I don't have a cold. I just had a sneeze. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and let's just go ahead and get started. What you're going to learn tonight, at least this is my goal for you, is what compromises, what compromises or comprises, excuse me, what comprises, causes and symptoms of nerve disorders and neurological challenges, effects of food additives and excitotoxins on the brain. I'm going to teach you tonight to be a label reader if you're not already a label reader. We're going to talk about the effects of food additives. Oh, yes, I just mentioned that. And which therapeutic grade essential oils and applications can support a healthy nervous system. So baseline healthy nervous system, what can we do to support that healthy nervous system? Our central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. This is the master of the central nervous system, this um, the brain. The brain is encased in a neural cranium surrounded by protective membranes called the meninges. And meninges float in a crystal clear cerebral spinal fluid. The cylindrical and elongated spinal cords lie in the vertebral canal. So this is the the um, cerebral spinal fluid flowing down from the brain and back up again. So what is the nervous system? Well, it's the smallest and yet most complex of all the body systems. It's an intricate and highly organized network of billions of neurons. It includes the brain, 12 pairs of cranial nerves and their branches, the spinal cord, 31 pairs of spinal nerves and their branches, ganglia, enteric plexuses, and sensory receptors. It helps maintain homeostasis, and it integrates all body activities by sensing changes, interpreting, and reacting. So it's quite a complex system. And of course, Pamela and I have developed uh, these PowerPoint presentations to teach you every system of the body and uh, how it works, how it functions on your behalf, and then how you can support that system. Function of the nervous system. The sensory function detects internal and external stimuli and carries information to the brain and to the spinal cord. There's an integrative function which processes sensory information by analyzing and storing for appropriate decision-making response and also provides motor muscular contraction and or gland secretion. So that's the function of the nervous system. Sensory function, integrative function, and motor muscle contraction and or gland secretion. Now we do have a peripheral nervous system. And this is a channel for the relay of sensory and motor impulses between the central nervous system and the body surface the skeletal muscles, and the internal organs. It's composed of spinal nerves, 
cranial nerves and certain parts of the autonomic nervous system. Nervous pathways are made up of neurons or nerve cell bodies and their axons and dendrites and synapses. And it points at which one the neuron communicates with next. So this is very interesting information. And, you know, the beauty of it is that you're kind of getting a basic, you know, uh, nervous system 101. It's always important, I think, to understand how our body works and how our body functions and what the needs of those body systems are so that we can feed it properly, we can nourish it properly, we can exercise it pro properly, we can get plenty of fresh air and sunshine to increase the health of those body systems. So all of this works together in conjunction. The autonomic nervous system. This controls involuntary bodily functions like the heartbeat, breathing, digestion, the glandular activity, contraction and dilation of blood vessels. It's composed basically of two parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system has stimulatory effects. It's, uh, it, affects, it, it affects stress hormones like adrenal, uh, adrenaline and non-adrenaline or noradrenaline, excuse me. The parasympathetic system, on the other hand, has very relaxing effects. And it secretes things like acetylcholine to slow the heart and to speed digestion. So they all have a job. They all have a part to play. The parasympathetic nervous system is your rest and digest. It supports body functions that conserve and restore body energy during rest and recovery. Five of the parasympathetic responses um, are, and we're going to use an acronym called SLUD or S L U D D. Um, those responses are salivation, lacrimation, which is the production and secretion of tears, urination, digestion, and defecation. Decreased responses of the parasympathetic nervous system are decreased heart rate, reduction in the diameter of airways, and constriction of pupils. So this is all the rest and digest portion of the nervous system. On the flip side, we have the sympathetic nervous system or the fight or flight. And this favors body functions that support physical activities and reduces bo the body's functions that store energy. It includes physical exertion as well as emotional responses such as stress. So the sympathetic E situations are exercise, emergency, excitement, and embarrassment. There are a myriad of nerve disorders and neurological diseases that have been uh, named and uh, diagnosed by uh, doctors, today's doctors, and we're just going to touch on some of those uh, nerve disorders and neurological diseases just, to, just as education and training for you to become familiar. Nerve disorders involve the peripheral or surface nerve like neuralgia, neuritis, neuropathy, Bell's palsy and carpal tunnel syndrome. Neurological diseases are associated with disturbances in the brain, like ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. Always use cold packs for neurological problems to reduce pain and inflammation while reducing the temperature of the damaged site. This is important, especially in multiple sclerosis. Neuropathy. Neuropathy is peripheral nerve damage, and the symptoms might be tingling in the hands and feet, and it could spread to the limbs and the, to the trunk of the body. You can actually just have neuropathy, peripheral nerve damage, um, in a finger or in the bottom of your feet. Some of the causes are complications from diabetes, alcoholism. Apparently got it. I've got somebody on the line that is um, live. If they could just star 
fix or mute themselves. I'm getting a lot of, um, you know, moving I items you. and. I turned off. it off. You thought you turned it off? Okay. Star six or just mute yourself. Thank you. Um, complications from diabetes uh, are some of the causes. Alcoholism, vitamin B12 deficiency, painkillers. Exposure and absorption of chemicals can cause peripheral nerve damage. And the recommendation is to boost the production of pregnenolone and human growth hormone in the body. Neuralgia is another type of neurological disorder, which um, is pain from pain from damaged nerves. I'm getting I'm getting a lot of um, bumping and something. I don't know if somebody's moving around. If you could just turn off your computer's mic, maybe just mute yourself. Otherwise, I can go ahead and mute everyone too. I guess I could do that. You are now muted. Sorry. Okay. Um. So let's go back to neuralgia, pain from damaged nerves. Some of the symptoms are temporary sharp pain in the peripheral nerve, and they also include numbness or lack of feeling in the affected area. Again, this could be in a, in a finger. It could be on the um, bottom of the feet. It could be a pinched nerve. It, it can be caused by inflammation due to injury. Autoimmune diseases such as lupus or Guillain-Barr syndrome can also cause neuralgia. Recommendations are applying oils that may have anti-inflammatory properties, just put them on meat or dilute them to the affected area three to four times a day. And you, or you can place a cold compress on the location two to three times a day. Um, any anti-inflammatory essential oils. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a specific type of neuralgia. So you're going to look for anti-inflammatory oils. Neuritis. Neuritis is a painful inflammation of the peripheral nerve. Symptoms are pain and burning, numbness or tingling, muscle weakness or paralysis. And the causes are prolonged exposure to cold temperature like in frostbite, heavy metal poisoning, diabetes, vitamin deficiency, infectious diseases. Bell's, pal uh, pal Bell's palsy is a type of neuritis. Uh, a recommendation is to identify the underlying cause. Let's talk a little bit about MS or multiple sclerosis. This is an autoimmune disease. It's uh, progressive. It's a progressive disease of the central nervous system, and it destroys the myelin sheath surrounding the nerve fibers of the brain, the spinal cord, and the optic nerve. It's uh, decreases transmission of nerve impulses because they become impaired. And it particularly uh, affects the pathways that involve vision, sensation, and movement. Some of the symptoms might, might be muscle weakness in the extremities, deteriorating coordination and balance, numbness or prickly sensation, poor attention or memory, speech impediments, incontinence, dizziness, and hear loss, hearing loss. Cold baths and relaxed swimming are two of the very best activities for relieving these symptoms. For severe symptoms, lower the body temperature and think about doing a raindrop technique with essential oils. Lou Gehrig's disease, or ALS, is a degenerative nerve disorder. So these are nerves that are degenerating. They affect nerve fibers in the spinal cord, which controls voluntary movement. It does not affect the senses, the sight, the smell, the taste, the hearing, or the touch. It does not affect bladder or bowel function or a person's ability to think or reason. Some of the symptoms may be difficulty in breathing, difficulty in swallowing, like gagging or choking. The head might drop due to weak spinal and neck muscles. There may be muscle cramps and weakness, paralysis, speech problems, such as a slow or abnormal speech pattern, voice changes, hoarseness, drooling, muscle spasms, 
muscle contractions, and weight loss. Essential oils may help clear the emotions of fear and anger and help work through the psychological and emotional aspects of many of these diseases. Parkinson's disease. This is deterioration of specific nerve centers in the brain. And it affects more men than women, about three to two. There's no pain or other sensation other than decreased ability to move. Symptoms appear slowly in no particular order. And some of the symptoms might be tremors, involuntary shaking of the hand, head, or both, rigidity, slow movement, and loss or loss of balance. You might have posture, trouble swallowing, depression, and difficulty performing small tasks. Restoring dopamine levels in the brain can reduce symptoms and uh, one of sulfurzyme, which is um, a, a food supplement, it's a food, could provide a source of organic sulfur, a vital nutrient for nerve and myelin sheath so, uh, formation. So the, the actual organic sulfur, uh, along with the Leningshu wolfberry and other ingredients in sulfur zyme, may provide a vital nutrient for the development of this um, and the support of, these, of this um, nerve uh, sheath formation. Let's talk a little bit about the effects of food additives and excitotoxins on the brain. Excitotoxins are substances such as aspartame that react with specialized receptors in the brain in such a way as to lead to the destruction of certain types of brain cells. Glutamate is one of the more com commonly known excitotoxins, and MSG is the sodium salt of glutamate. So it's monosodium glutamate is what MSG stands for. I really want you to be aware that there is a strong connection between dietary excitotoxin excess and neurological dysfunction and disease. Chronic elevations of blood glutamate can breach the intact blood-brain barrier and numerous conditions can leave the barrier incompetent. You see, our goal here is to support the nervous system, not to break it down. And these excitotoxins literally are the enemy against a healthy body. It's as simple as that. There are over 1 million Americans now consuming products containing one or more excitotoxins, excitotoxins which go by over 40 different names. This just outrages me, outrages me that our country allows these foods to be put on the shelves in our supermarkets for us and our children to consume. We must be responsible and take responsibility for our own health by reading labels. Excitotoxin injury is a special concern from the fetal stage to adolescence during the critical period of brain formation. Aging and free radical activity magnify the increased susceptibility to excitotoxin damage. Nervous system, the nervous system is significantly weakened and made more susceptible to further excitotoxic injury. I really want you to take this seriously. If for no other reason that you came on this webinar tonight was to hear these very words, because we need to be responsible for what goes into our mouth. I will tell you that Gary states, if you're not willing to put it in your mouth, don't put it on your skin. But we're putting stuff in our mouth that is deadly. Deadly. So let's look at some of those things. Diet soda, right there in the center. Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke, these have aspartame in them. They cause neurological dysfunction. They do not support the nervous system. They actually break it down. 
there's MSG in Campbell's soup. There's massive amounts of MSG in yellow number four, 40, in yellow number five, excuse me, in Doritos. Yellow number five has been directly related to, to um, ADD and ADHD in children. Why? Because it affects the brain. There's MSG in ramen noodles. There's MSG in accent. Accent is almost pure MSG. Wakes up food to flavor, it says. Yeah, it might be a flavor enhancer, but it's a neurological destroyer. There's aspartame in just about every chewing gum and every mint product on the market today. And that's why Young Living has provided us with Thieves Mints and Thieves Lozenges because they don't have these poisonous things in them. Oh, maybe ranch dressing is one of, the, one of your favorites. Well, we know it's laden, heavy laden with MSG. We start feeding our babies with MSG and aspartame at, at infancy if we're feeding them um, formula off the counter, over the counter, and not mother's milk, and watch what mother eats. She shouldn't be using equal or sweet and low. These are chemicals. They were not made by God. They were not put on our planet here. You can't pick it off a tree or dig it out of the ground. It's made in a laboratory and in many instances was originally made for as an insecticide. But when it was found to be a very, very sweet product, and oh, by the way, small amounts won't hurt you, and they put it on the market without any real research, and we don't know what cumulative and long-term effects are, we need to read our label. Anytime that you pick up a chip, a bag of chips on the, on the uh, counters today, you know, from the store shelves today, if it has a flavoring on it, like a barbecue chip or a sour cream and onion chip, or a, um, read the label because it's going to have MSG. And some of the hidden names for MSG are Torilla yeast. Let's go T O U R L A Torilla yeast or um, MSG or monosodium glutamate or glutamate or salt of glutamate they, or, or even spices. They don't even have to be specific. They can just throw it under the, the header of spices. They're, it's, they're trying to hide this stuff from you. Because they, they want you to buy the product because it's got it's flavor enhancers. They don't want to tell you that it's dangerous. So this is my soapbox. You can, for a list of foods containing excitotoxins, please, I beg you, go to http colon slash slash www.msgtruth.org slash avoid dot htm. You can see a whole list of them. Make your food from scratch. Don't buy these processed foods like this McCormick seasoning mixes. They're chock full of aspartame or MSG for flavoring. So let's just shift right now and talk about therapeutic grade essential oils and applications. First of all, I'd like to explain to you about an application that you may not have ever been introduced to before. It's called the neuroauricular technique or NAT. This particular technique was originated by D. Gary Young and we recommend an auricular probe, which is a medical device. However, if you cannot find uh, an auricular probe, and I think they may be available on Abundant Health for You, I'm not positive. I haven't looked for one for a long time. But if you cannot find an auricular probe, then just use a dropper from a dropper bottle and make sure that the end of the dropper is rounded, you know, so that it won't cause any um, deliberate indentation. Because what you're going to do is you're going to be stimulating the areas of the vagus nerve complex along the occipital ridge or the base of the skull and the cervical vertebra, which are the first uh, 10, 6 to 10 inches of vertebra from the uh, skull along the spine on the back of the neck. The vagus nerve complex is the largest nerve bundle affecting the physiological reactions of fight and flight, often called stress. Originally, uh, this was developed for use for 
um, patients with Parkinson's disease, but it's now being used for people and animals in crisis, trauma, and PTSD, which is um, post-traumatic stress disorder. There are six oils that are used in, in an easy-to-learn seven-step procedure to offer a deep level of stress, stress reduction, and I have listed those oils here. In sequence, you put frankincense along the wrist, ridge of the skull, and then you will take the probe and you go in um, clockwise tiny, tiny circles along to get that oil into the, into the skin. And then you're going to take that frankincense and you're going to drop it about six to eight inches on either side of the vertebra. And then you're going to just go in between those vertebra to, um, to uh, get that into the skin, in that oil. So that's the first oil. Then you do the same thing with valerian, the same thing with vetiver, the same thing with Roman chamomile, the same thing with cedarwood, and the same thing with sandalwood. And you'll see that most of these are, uh, they all have the oxygen molecule attached to them. All oils do, all essential oils do. And what you're doing is you're helping to oxygenate the brain and you're helping to stimulate that uh, vagus nerve complex. So let's take a look at frankincense. Frankincense supports growth hormone production. It also alleviates depression, promotes relaxation, and may reduce inflammation. And the way that we recommend you apply frankincense is to apply two to four drops on location. You can put it on the Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can inhale it directly and or diffuse it. You can use it as a dietary supplement. Dilute one drop and four drops of V6, which is Young Living's um, six organic vegetable oil blend, or you can put it in olive oil or coconut oil, or you can put it in a capsule and take one before each meal. Roman chamomile has been shown to, to help regenerate nerves. Nerve regenerator, it's anti-inflammatory. It's an anesthetic and it combats nervousness. Recommended application is to apply two to four drops on location the ankles, the wrists, the Vitaflex points, directly inhale it, diffuse it, or take as a dietary supplement. Peppermint, highly anti-inflammatory, it's an analgesic, and it's stimulating to the brain. Recommended application is dilute one part with vegetable oil, apply on location and or Vitaflex points, avoid contact with eyes or mucous membranes, Fresh wounds are burned because this can be uh, a little hot. And here's some research for you. The anti-inflammatory activity of L-menthol compared to mint oil in human monocytes in vitro. This is a novel perspective for therapeutic use in inflammatory diseases. So we can use this in inflammatory diseases. And this is the research. Heliochrysum, also been shown to be very effective in regenerating nerves. It's an anesthetic, which means that it deadens pain. It's also, also been known and tested by Dr. Uh, Lewis in 2003 on its ability to chelate heavy metals, chemicals, and toxins. Its recommended application is that you can apply drops on location on the Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can directly inhale it, you can diffuse it, or you can take heliochrysum as a dietary supplement. Rosemary. I was just at a, a four or five day trade show and I had some people from Germany who have an infrared sauna and they chose to use rosemary in their sauna because it opens up the brain, it gives them mental clarity, it boosts alertness. It helps to overcome mental fatigue. It amplifies the mental ability. The recommended application is to dilute one part with one part vegetable oil. If you're going to apply it to your skin, you can apply two to four drops on location. Uh, Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet again. Directly inhale it, diffuse it, or you can take rosemary as a dietary supplement as well. 
You can use it in cooking. Uh, we always recommend that if you're going to use any of the oils in cooking that you put it in at the very end so that you're not heating the oil so that they lose their therapeutic value. Wintergreen. Wintergreen has also been shown to be highly anti-inflammatory, and I encourage you to do some research out on PubMed.org. That's PubMed.org. And just look up some of these oils, essential oils of wintergreen, essential oils of peppermint, and start compiling some of this research. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal, and you can share it with your friends. This is a great way to educate one another with scientific evidence that, yes, indeed, these things have been shown to be effective in supporting our, health, our body and the health of our body. So it's a topical analgesic, which means that it helps to relieve pain and it soothes nerve pain. Recommended application is diluting one part with two parts of vegetable oil. Apply one to two drops on location. The Vitaflex points on the bottom of your feet. Directly inhale it, diffuse it, or you can take wintergreen as a dietary supplement as well. Lavender, and I see I did not replace my lavender oil with the new lavender bottle, but that's okay. You know lavender oil. It too has been shown to be anti-inflammatory, relieving nervous tension, very, very good for treating stress. It improves mental acuity. It increases the beta waves in the brain, so it's very, very effective with children who have been diagnosed with ADD and ADHD. It can support a healthy brain. It reduces mental stress, alleviates depression. You can recommend an application is diffusing this, applying two to four drops on location, on the Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can also take this as a dietary supplement. You can put one drop on the tip of the tongue, Place it to the roof of the mouth and helps with allergies. And there are many, many studies. And here's one study that has shown that lavender reduced mental stress and increased mental alertness. Valor is a blend. This is a blend of rosewood, blue tansy, frankincense, and black spruce in a carrier oil of sweet almonds. And we have found that Valor can promote feelings of self-control, of grounding and strengthening. Valor helps to overcome anger and negative emotions. It opens and releases emotional blocks. It stimulates the limbic portion of the brain. It, <clears throat> it may alleviate feelings of stress and despair. I love to put a few drops of Valor on my wrist in the morning. It's part of my happy protocol. And I will hold my wrist together for about 15 seconds. This is a great habit to get into. If you have to sit in front of a computer throughout the day, Valor has been known to open and release emotional blocks, but also to ward off EMF, electromagnetic frequency, which can really affect the central nervous system. Uh, when we are bombarded daily with EMF, it could open us up to different brain cancers, uh, feelings of stress and despair. Um, it's, it's, it's dangerous. So by using Valor throughout the day, either rubbing it on the bottom of your feet or rubbing it on your wrists like I just mentioned and holding them for 15 seconds, you can diffuse those electromagnetic frequencies to help your brain to be healthier. <clears throat> When you're using a series of oils, always use Valor first, and then wait five to 10 minutes before applying the other oils. You can dilute it with vegetable oil for a full body massage. This is great as well. Valor is a wonderful, wonderful daily uh, use oil, in addition that to your uh, oils that I would highly, highly recommend if you're not already using it daily. Now, Panaway Blend, was originally used to help support the musculoskeletal system as well, as was Valor, but it's got wintergreen and peppermint in it. And I mentioned that studies have been shown that wintergreen and peppermint are very effective in reducing inflammation and for helping to relieve uh, uh, discomfort 
in the body, in the muscles. It's strongly anti-inflammatory. It's a powerful pain blocker. Um, its recommended application is to either put it on meat, that's great, or you can dilute it one part to one part of vegetable oil. I'm not a big diffuser of Panaway. I um, like to either, I like to rub it on my body. Uh, I've also tried putting it on, in my bath water. It works very effectively for that. Um, I've heard of people using it uh, with headache pain, just rubbing it on their temples and across that occipital ridge on the back of the neck. This can also be very effective when children are teething. Um, you can rub it along the jawbone. And it can be diluted with ortho ease massage oil for a full body massage, too. This is great. So it contains helichrysum, wintergreen, clove, and peppermint. Aromaceae is also an anti-inflammatory, but more importantly for this particular subject, we're talking about calming the nerves. It also has significant analgesic effects. So we want to support our bodies so that we don't uh, have the effects of neuralgia, neuritis, or um, uh, nerve damage and nerve discomfort. It really leads stress as well. The recommended application is for topical use. Uh, I've never recommended ingesting this one. You probably could. This is used with a raindrop technique. And if you want to learn more about the raindrop technique, just get the kit and it gives you a DVD on how to apply and administer this technique to your uh, family members and friends. It contains the essential oils of basil, marjoram, lavender, peppermint, and cypress. And all but one of these oils are actually found in the raindrop technique kit. Basil, marjoram, peppermint, and cypress are all found in that kit. Now, deep relief is one of our favorites. It's great for a sprained ankle, calms stressed nerves, reduces inflammation, provides uh, pain relief, great for stiff neck, great for use with NAT. It has a stainless steel rollerball in it, and you can actually use that in place of an auricular probe. If you were to um, save a bunch of these rollerball bottles, you could actually label each one separately with sandalwood and vetiver and frankincense and all of those seven NAT oils and use that in place of an auricular probe. Sound like a good idea? This would be great. So don't throw away your roller bottle bottles. You can easily take those roller balls off, fill it up with uh, five mil of one of those oils and put, pop your ball, ball back on and then use it in that technique. Apply generously on location where you're wanting to support that body system. You know, and do it every 15 minutes because this will help to relieve those um, infl inflammatory issues. It contains the essential oils of peppermint, lemon, Idaho balsam for copaiba, clove, wintergreen, helichrysum, vetiver, and palo santo in fractionated and virgin coconut oils. Clarity is also a blend that you may not have thought to be included in a presentation on uh, the nervous system. This particular oil blend has been shown to be very effective in promoting a clear mind. I know it's worked for me many, many times. I like to diffuse clarity when I'm running on my treadmill. I like to use clarity if I'm going to stand up and give a class. Uh, even a lot of times I'll use clarity just before I give my um, weekly webinar. So uh, this is a great oil to amplify mental alertness improve brain activity and vitality. It, it too is anti-inflammatory. It's antispasmodic as well because it has the oil of basil in it. And basil is very, very conducive to mental clarity and it's also antispasmodic. So it revitalizes the nervous system, it alleviates mental fatigue, and you can just, I like to just put it in my hands, rub my hands together, breathe it in, put it on the bottom of my feet, you can diffuse it, like I said. Um, you can put it in the bath water. This would be a great thing in the morning uh, to start your day with some real, you know, um, cutting edge mental clarity for the work that, uh, ahead. You can also put it on your forehead, your temples, or your uh, vitaflex points, which would be the big toe for the brain. That's your vitaflex point for the brain. Speaking of brain. We have brain power, and this is a wonderful 
oxygenating blend of oils. It promotes deep concentration. It increases mental clarity. Long-term use may retard the aging process. It's high in sesquiterpenes, which have the ability to pass the blood-brain barrier and oxygenate the brain. It helps to clean off nerve receptor sites and alleviate brain fog that may um, have come about from uh, prescription or over-the-counter drugs. Uh, it's beneficial for neuralgia. And it has the oils of like sandalwood and vetiver, and this is a great one to use in NAT as well. Um, it's got frankincense and cedarwood. I mean, these are brain oils. These are definitely, definitely brain oils. Vetiver, cedarwood, frankincense. Uh, um, yeah, uh, myrrh. Uh, all of these have sesquiterpenes in them, and they're very good for the brain, oxygenating the brain. You can put it on the back of the neck, on the throat, on the temples, under the nose. One of the things that Gary used to say is to put it on the inside of the cheek, in the mouth, or put it on your thumb, and then place your thumb to the roof of the mouth, and it goes directly up into the olfactory system, but right up into the brain, and this is exactly where we want it. So putting a few drops, maybe three to four drops, on the thumb, and then place that, placing that thumb to the roof of the mouth. Try that. It doesn't taste real good. I'm just going to warn you. But it's very, very effective on giving you the kind of support that you might be looking for for the nervous system. Something else that uh, is fairly new and it is available today is the Reconnect Collection. The Reconnect Collection is a group of essential oil blends created to help maintain mental acuity and focus and support mood by uplifting and encouraging positive energy in times of restlessness and unease. The essential oil blends in this Reconnect collection are designed to relax the mind and support a determination to stay on task and to help ground and unite the body, mind, and spirit with life. The oils can uplift the mood and support a positive outlook that allows the mind to react positively and engage with one's surroundings. Using these oils can help lead to a restful night's sleep by relaxing and calming the body and the mind to release negative emotions and promote higher thoughts of self-worth. There are four five mil blends in this Reconnect connection, collection. Reconnect, In Touch, Sleepy Eyes, and Genius. Now, I just want to mention that if you know of anyone, if you have friends, that may have a child with, uh, with ADD or um, autism, that you might want to give them a gift of the Reconnect collection. This would be a wonderful gift for the parents uh, to share with their child that might be having some struggles in those areas. Just saying. Also, the Freedom Release Kit, and I don't know why that E is on the end of Freedom, but um, maybe it's supposed to be Free Dome, but I know that it's Freedom Release Collection. This collection was developed to reestablish a positive energy flow throughout the body and bring a sense of balance and harmony that attracts love and joy with the Freedom Sleep and the Freedom Release Collection Bundle. And if you know someone who may be suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, this would be a lovely gift for them. Uh, you might think about gifting this wonderful collection for someone who might be suffering from heavy trauma in their life. They're having trouble sleeping. They're having bad nightmares. They need to release um, their psyche from, from traumatic experiences that they may have had. This would be a wonderful gift. The Freedom Sleep Collection of Essential Oils was created to help reestablish a positive energy flow throughout the body, helping relax and calm, calm one's thoughts and feelings prior to bedtime. 
With improved relaxation, the body and the mind are rejuvenated, bolstering one's ability to overcome life's challenges and reach one's highest potential. There are four blends in the sleep collection. I will tell you that both collections are sold together. So you're going to get four blends, the Freedom Blend, the Aroma Sleep, the Inner Harmony, and the Valor in one collection. And then in the second collection, and remember, they're sold together as a bundle, these are essential oils that were created to bring a sense of balance and harmony that attracts love and joy. It helps release feelings of anger and promotes forgiveness, elevating the mind and bringing out the gentle characteristics within oneself for a positive outlook on life. This contains five blends. The blend is called Freedom, Divine Release, Joy, Transformation, and TR Care. Wonderful collection. Let's talk about some of some supplements that may help support the nervous system. I mentioned sulfazyme earlier. It supports every major function of the body and may help to combat autoimmune deficiency disorders. It may alleviate pain associated with inflammation. I will tell you that three women Three of us went down to Arizona. We drove down there. We spent about six days down there and then drove all the way back. And uh, we're all over 55. And we would not, not be without our self design Because sitting in the car that long and being on your feet for 10 hours a day, uh, you tend to get a little, uh, you know, some aches and pains. And self design was there for us, supporting us 100%. Taking two capsules two times daily or one hour before meal um, works w well. I take four, maybe even up to eight a day. They're fabulous. And the powder is back in uh, stock. So taking a half a teaspoon with distilled water, or I like it in my Ning Charette, um, two times daily or one hour before meal is very, very effective. One of the reasons I like the powder is because it's absorbed very, very quickly in the buccal cavity of the mouth and into the bloodstream almost immediately. So I get immediate relief from any, um, you know, backache from maybe sleeping uh, wrong in bed or, or whatever. But if you have any of that lower back discomfort or just, you know, achy, achy joints or whatever, uh, this is a great supplement. It, and it's really, really great for the nervous system. Uh, one of the best-selling books that I highly recommend is The Miracle of MSM, The Natural Solution for Pain. And it was authored by UCLA neuropsychiatrist Ronald Lawrence, who's an MD and a PhD, and Stanley Jacobs, who's an MD. Omega Chives is also a supplement. It's got the, um, it's got the omega-3 uh, DHA-rich fish oil complex that helps to support the nervous system. It reduces systemic inflammation, supports brain health, fortifies and strengthens the body. It's a powerful nat natural antioxidant. Used in cases of neuralgia, um, I just recommend that. Includes vitamin D3 and CoQ10, which CoQ10 is very good for supporting the heart and the cardiovascular system. And you can take uh, three of these soft gels up to three times a day or one soft gel capsule two times a day. But I like to take, you can take up to nine a day. And I think it's very, very, uh, it's a healthy practice. We are not getting enough of our omega-3 and we need it for our brain. Super B is really important, especially during times of stress because we just eat up our B vitamins in the body. This is critical for nerve function, absolutely critical. The nerves need to have a B complex, a good, um, healthy B complex to support proper action of growth hormones and nerve health. So it's supporting us 100%. You can take up to a half to a full tablet daily. Super C, this is our um, chewable vitamin C, or we have it in capsules as well. This is from prevent premature aging. It's a potent antioxidant, and it's critical for proper action of growth hormone, which, which helps in supporting nerve function. So again, these things should be uh, taken for a good, healthy nervous system. Take one or two tablets daily, and it's best taken before meals. 
Physical stress, alcohol, and smoking, uh, and using certain medications may lower the blood levels of this essential vitamin. So you want to take vitamin C daily because we it goes right out in the urine. We use it up so very quickly. It's water soluble. Mineral essence is something that I would not be without, and I am just so grateful that Young Living provides it for us. It is an ionic mineral complex of, a, of approximately 60 ionic minerals. It helps to balance electrolytes. It helps to prevent disease and aging. It's necessary for proper immune and metabolic function, and it's really required for vitamin assimilation and absorption. So it doesn't taste real good. I, I've met a couple of people uh, in, in the 15 years I've been with Young Living that uh, say, oh, I like the taste of mineral essence. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't like it, but I masked. The, the saltiness uh, with orange juice, or I don't really want to ruin my ninja red with it. So I just put it in a little shot glass of orange juice and knock it back, and that works for me. So it says take five droppers in purified water and ninja red juice morning and evening as needed. PD8020 is also um, a great supplement, especially if you're dealing with uh, wanting to support the nervous system because it contains this pregnenolone that we mentioned at the very outset of the presentation. It also includes DHEA, which many of us are deficient in. It helps to prevent premature aging. It supports the central nervous system. And start with one capsule per day and then go ahead and increase to two capsules per day as needed. And then, of course, I'm a big promoter of Ningxia Red the wolfberries, and Ningxia Nitro. On our trip down to Arizona this last week, we weren't without our Ningxia Red packets and our Nitro. And, you know, we also had an opportunity to give a lot of it away because we met new people and, and um, developed new relationships, and we wanted to share, uh, you know, with them. We're so enthusiastic about what we have to offer that we just said, try one of these. How do you like the taste? You know, they love the flavor. These things are protecting us against free radical damage. They're very low glycemic, so they're not going to give you any sugar spikes, uh, can be very supportive of um, the uh, pancreas, can reverse many signs of aging, and can boost brain power, especially the Ningxia Nitro. Love, love, love that stuff. Take two to four ounces of Ningxia Red per day. You can add Ningxia wolfberries to oatmeal pancakes. Mix them with salads. We're actually out of the wolfberries right now and have been for a while, but if we just keep manifesting it in our mind, we'll get it in pretty soon here. Let's uh, also think about getting rid of the West Coast Sport Strike so that we can bring in a lot of our products um, and get transportation moving again. Uh, can be used in cooking and salads, desserts, eat alone. I've had... Um, Wonderful salad dressings made with Ningxia Red. So just use your imagination. Use your creativity. Go inside yourself and, and figure out some new recipes and share them with everybody. That's, that's the beauty of this business is that uh, we have such dynamically creative people, uh, and, the, and they're so willing to share with one another. Another brand new product, and many of us just absolutely depend on this product is MindWise. This really does support normal brain health. MindWise combines exotic Satya Inchi nut oil with a proprietary MindWise oil blend for a unique normal brain function supporting supplements. Harvested from the Peruvian Amazon, Satya Inchi nuts are cold pressed to create a vegetarian oil with a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids and an unmatched percentage of desirable omega-3 fatty acids. I don't think we can get too many of these. So even if you're taking omega Gis, taking MindWise, it just gives you all the more fuel for the brain. Our brain needs it desperately. There are um, medium-chain triglycerides and pure essential oils that are added to complete the MindWise oil blend. And the proprietary memory blend features Alcar, GPC, and bioidentical CoQ10, ingredients that have been studied for their beneficial health properties. Generous amounts of vitamin D3 and a unique delivery method created a, create a premium supplement that supports normal memory function and overall 
cognitive health. If you know someone who is having memory issues, this might be a good item to gift them. Memory issues. We want to support a healthy memory. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the raindrops because this is really good uh, for supporting the body and preventing autoimmune deficiency disorders. It stimulates energy impulses and disperses the oils along the nervous system throughout the entire body. Essential oils are applied to the spinal column, are absorbed through the nerves that feed the entire body, helping to reduce spinal inflammation and bringing the body back into balance. This particular kit, awesome kit, includes an instructional DVD and booklet, two eight ounce bottles, one of OrthoEase and one of the V6 mix, uh, massage oil, and five bottles, I mean, excuse me, and nine five milliliter bottles of aromatase basil, cypress, marjoram, oregano, peppermint, thyme, valor, and wintergreen. Do yourself a favor, favor, get this kit, learn the technique, and share it with those people who need support for muscular skeletal system, for the nervous system. Just about every system of the body can be supported with the Raindrop Essential Oils Kit. Here's a Raindrop testimonial from a very good friend of mine, Nancy Weber. She says, having central nervous system damage and spinal injuries decades ago, I had continual pain and spasms throughout my body. In 1991, I was completely paralyzed for a few weeks from the damage. Two wonderful friends and healers used the raindrop technique on me. And for the first time since I was 25, I was able to get up pain-free. That night, I had no leg or back spasms. And three weeks later, I had the great fortune to learn this remarkable technique from Gary Young. This technique has kept my immune system strong, my body pain-free, and far stronger than I've been in years. At age 62, I can easily say it has reversed most of the damage to my body, and my ability to help others has expanded tremendously. Now, if you want to learn the raindrop from Gary, look on the Young Living website under events. I believe that he's going to be teaching Raindrop in Croatia in the month of April. So this would be a great opportunity to go see our new Helia Chrisom farm in Croatia and probably learn some healing techniques and just have a wonderful, wonderful time of travel and fellowship. I mentioned OrthoEase. This is part of the Raindrop kit. It contains the oils of wintergreen, peppermint, thyme, and marjoram. This is one of my mom's favorite um, massage oils. She just rubs it all over her body before she goes to bed, and she gets tremendous relief from it. If you have not received a wholesale membership with Young Living, I want to encourage you today to meet up with the person who invited you to this webinar. If you're already a member of uh, Young Living, this might be a way to uh, share Young Living's membership with somebody that you've been kind of aching to do that with, right? Wanting to do that with. Uh, have them order the $40 kit and then get the raindrop kit at wholesale. They save 24%. And of course, you, uh, this particular raindrop technique teaches the nine powerful oils that I talked about, two massage oils, and the instructional DVD and booklet. If you uh, don't know how you got invited to this webinar, um, please contact us and we'll try to direct you in the right direction and help you. We also want to mention to you about our 90-day Healthy Nervous System Program. This is the Essential Rewards Program. The benefits of this program is that you can earn percentages on every dollar that you spend, 10% in the first six months of being on this program, 15% uh, up till from the seventh month to the 13th month, and then 20% in free product on each shipment. You enjoy reduced shipping, you get discounted pricing on exclusive product packages, and you'll never run out of products to support a healthy nervous system. Some recommendations that we did, would have for your first essential rewards order would be sandalwood oil and Roman chamomile. Second month, you might want to get a bottle of Panaway 
and a bottle of brain power. Your third month on Essential Rewards, you might want to try the uh, bottle of Ningxia Red. You would have gotten two packs in your um, membership kit, but now you're ready to get a whole bottle. You might want to try the Omega Jai, the Mineral Essence, and a Deep Release Roll-On. So you see, every month you can change your order. You're going to get rebates on every single dollar you, per, you spend, and you'll never run out of product this way. And if you stick with these products for 90 days, what I've been telling you tonight, you can support that healthy nervous system. Some other resources that we have that deal with specific um, systems of the body are the Essential Order of Desk Reference, which you can get from lifesciencepublishing.com. There's a great little pamphlet if you want to share it with your friends and family uh, on the raindrop technique that you can get, that can be purchased from crowndiamondtools.com. I mentioned the miracle of MSM, the natural solution for pain. It talks about uh, MSM by Dr. Ronald Lawrence. Also, there's another great uh, eight and a half by 11 raindrop pamphlet that's great to share with your massage therapist. The Better Brain Book and the Auricular Pill. Check the AbundantHealthForYou.com website for those items. I want to welcome you to Young Living. I want enjoying healthy minds and healthy body and healthy nervous systems, of course. And I want to thank you for joining me tonight. It's been a pleasure for me to share live with you my thoughts and uh, education on the nervous system and what I feel might be of help to you to support a healthy nervous system. I know that Pam has been very diligent in answering any of your questions. I'm going to stop the recording at this time.